was sent in by uh, Minion Richard Barton. Breaking news from scientists out of the University of Prague, as a two-year-old study has just recently now come to my attention that links baby-blinding, schizophrenia-inducing, national agenda-setting parasite Toxoplasma gondii ah. with a dramatic increase in automobile-related traffic fatalities. What? <laughs> uh, estimates from the CDC suggest that uh, over 60 million people in the United States are infected with T. gondii, so this is a lot of us have this. The parasite, this horrible parasite, which is uh, only completes its life cycle in cats, escapes the cat by the way of cat scat, is then carried off to new locations by clinging to the domesticated paws out of the kitty litter box, so to say. Favorite spot, maybe it ends up on the couch or the bed or ends up on the kitchen counter. It can get consumed by people and therefore the parasite gains an unprecedented opportunity Unprecedented opportunity to eventually find itself stuck in a human body where it heads to the brain can cause behavioral changes I'm in the host. I'm stuck in here. I must go to the brain. I must find a way out. They go to the brain, <laughs> and in, and in uh, rodents, like rats and stuff, it causes them not to fear cats yeah. and to be attracted to the smell of cat urine. Right, because if you're a rodent, you go near a cat, Cat will eat you, and then the parasite gets back into its favored host. Exactly, which is also my, which is also my biggest. I think it's very plausible that the cat lady is hoarding so many cats because the parasite's looking at the ratio of human <laughs> to cat and being like, "Oh, we need backup. Right, let's let's have the host gather around. Ah, maybe 18, 20 yeah, cats. Yeah. Then we got a chance of, of being devoured again." <laughs> So the new to me study uh, finds the unexpected correlation between reaction times of those who have the parasite and with, uh, with those who have traffic accidents more likely to have the T. gondii infection, right? So reaction time, here, here it is. Now it does, the reaction times may be limited also to people with a certain blood type. Yaroslav Flegger, I'm just guessing. Right. And colleagues at Charles <laughs> University in Prague, Czech Republic have previously discovered that Toxo affected reaction times and mostly in people uh, whose blood type was Reese's negative. So they monitored about 4,000 military drivers for a year and a half. And those who had blood types that were RH negative had a toxo, and had toxo, were two and a half times as likely to have an accident as those unaffected drivers who were RH negative or anybody who was, a, or any positive. So even if they had, yeah, if they were RH negative but no toxo, the RH negative with toxo, two and a half times more likely to get to a car accident. Mm -hmm. And then the RH positive, regardless of the toxo infection, um, were the same as the RH negatives who didn't have it. Got it. So it's just affecting the RH negatives in this delay time. That's interesting. I wonder what about the blood type? Mm -hmm. People allows the parasite to get in there. The only thing he's, he, I mean, he doesn't really have an answer for this yet. He says people who are RH negative lack a protein on the surface of their blood cells but doesn't know why this affects um, the, uh, the way the parasite uh, operates in the brain. Yeah. And why that, the, why that protein is involved. And then, yeah. and and now then, we can seek the mechanism. Yeah, now we can look at the mechanism. Yeah. How does, maybe this has something to do with the, the way that Toxo gets into the, gets into the cells, has an effect. But at the same time, yeah, why more car accidents? Yeah. Weird. The re just the reaction times are dulled. That, which, if you're going to be eaten by a cat, is good. <laughs> yeah, it slows you down <laughs> so the cat's you. even faster. <laughs> it slows you down so you can be eaten. It says, though, the results <laughs> suggest that between 400,000 and a million of the world's annual road deaths might be due to Toxoplasma gondii infection. Suggesting, also, that for testing, should be employed on RH negative pilots, air traffic controllers, truck drivers, mm. people in the, you know, right. in the motivation departments yeah. for the infection. So if, you, if you're responsible for other people or, you know, in a position that could you know, cause... School bus driver? Yeah, yeah, and you're RH negative, maybe you should be tested for a toxo. Yeah. <laughs> So that's anybody who has a enforced, negative blood type. I'm just imagining enforced toxoplasma testing. I, you know what? Look, it this. might be time. Look, it blinds babies, it induces schizophrenia, alters vast swaths and, of public opinion, and now, now causes car accidents. Kills a million people a year in car accidents. Wait, where did you get that? It says uh, between 400,000, he says, this is the 400,000 and a million of the world's annual road deaths 
might be related to this. Might be. Well, yeah. What are, might be. All right. Well, you know, maybe killing a million, maybe it kills 400,000. I think the might be if it was on the number. So the time has come, gentle minions, to wage war on toxicism. If you know anyone who is harboring toxicists, or simply suspect somebody might be linked to a cat, a tip line has been set up via email. Justin at thisweekinscience.com put twists in the subject matter. We're going to root out this problem. Toxo twists. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to turn in your neighbors. Oh dear, 